morning everybody just got to uh white plains gonna be an interesting day today i actually have a canada trip which we don't get to do very often and i'll be overnighting in burlington vermont but the uh the first trip's gonna be over to martha's vineyard gotta get the airplane ready first though waiting for everything to boot up right now just ordered fuel as well taking about 160 gallons today but what's nuts is today trade wind is here in in like force it's insane i mean just taking a quick look around millionaire's ramp we've got eight airplanes sitting and that's just from what i can see outside if you guys saw i just turned the standby bus on waiting for everything to load up and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take battery one and turn that on i'll wait 15 seconds and then uh, battery two will also come on I just finished the pre-flight planes getting all fueled up right now I'm gonna go grab some coffee and hot water that's one thing about these part 135 charter jobs that's very different from the airlines we don't have flight attendants or whole ground crew to uh, support us so a lot of the things you do for your job aren't just flying so that's something you have to consider when you're choosing you know which path is right for you more uh, trade wind airplanes in the hangar here apparently we're all leaving at around the same time today so I feel bad for the ground guys that are having to scramble right now So I got the coffee, hot water, a load of ice, and just so many drinks. I know it's not the most riveting content, me grabbing all the ice and coffee and drinks and stuff, but I just want to be real with you guys and show you what the job is actually like. One thing I'm not a super huge fan of about the airplane today is you can see that these seats, they can swivel and move. And it makes loading the airplane a lot easier when you have big bags. But unfortunately, these ones, they're stuck. Whenever you have to put bags and stuff like that that are larger, it's a little bit more difficult. God, I am sweating. It's like 8.30 and it's already extremely hot. Either way, the airplane's all set up and ready to go, so I'll see you guys in Martha's Vineyard. Another thing you have to be ready for whenever you're doing a job like this, a charter job, is that your schedule is going to change. Um, we were just supposed to go to Canada today, we were supposed to overnight in Burlington, Vermont and stuff like that, and now uh, we're actually overnighting in East Hampton. There's only three flights today now, ending at around one o'clock, so maybe I'll have some time to go do some stuff over there. I do believe as of right now though we're still going to Canada tomorrow, which is early in the morning now instead of uh, later tonight. <laughs> All right, so it's been about, I don't know, 20 minutes since I filmed that last little bit and now we're ending in Groton. So, you know, sometimes you just can't keep up, you roll with the punches and we'll, we'll see where we end up today.
everybody. So it was a quick turn in Martha's Vineyard. We got out of there pretty quick. The flight you just saw was actually Martha's Vineyard too. We're in Boston Logan right now over at uh, Signature Flight Support. We're gonna leave in around 12 o'clock. Next is gonna be over to East Hampton. It was a super easy flight both ways. It's really nice to be afar. It's not bumpy or anything. So it's a, it's a pretty sweet day. It's always super fun and interesting coming to a big international airport like this. And one of the, the little guys, you get to see a whole different side of the airport that not many people get to see. anything of that last flight it was like literally like a six minute flight so it was up and then down so i had no real time to film anything so sorry about that but right now the company just has us uh, on standby for a little bit wait and see if they need us for anything and then you know once we're in the clear they'll book us a hotel and then we'll head there for the night and we're probably going to check out um you know mystic and groton uh connecticut and we'll see uh see what they have to offer here while we wait here for the ceo when we're gonna go to the hotel i really just want to say thank you to all you guys uh, the response to the video has really been insane uh that first flying video i got is like 33,000 views and the channel's already almost at 700 subscribers so if you got to this point in the video and you're still enjoying what you're watching please you know like uh comment subscribe if you if you want to see more finally got the uh, crew car here is it electric Oh my God, no way. I don't know if I'm mistaken or if it's like a hybrid or something, but I think this thing is fully electric, which would be sick. I've never driven an electric car before. It is, it's all electric. That is so awesome. So we're at the uh, Holiday Inn in New London. Uh, it's a nice hotel, I'll show you guys around. Obviously you got the uh, entrance closet and then you've got the uh, bathroom in there. Ignore my mess, but uh, got a nice big bed, TV, table and stuff. I'll probably edit there tonight. And then just a chair and everything. It's your pretty typical overnight room. Like I said, we're getting ready to go out. We'll probably go over to uh, Mystic New York and see what there is over there. I heard there's like a, it's like a port area. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff over there we can look at, so we'll check that out. Don't wanna swim it over. It feels like you got it. You want your roller coaster. Don't ask me about my freedom. back from eating we didn't really do too much so i didn't film everything but i think um i was gonna end the vlog tonight but i think i'm gonna take you guys uh along with us tomorrow we are going to canada tomorrow morning it's our first flight and then we have like eight flights tomorrow so i'll take you guys along and i'll show you what that's like but for now i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning guys it's uh 5 30 a.m and it's time to go to canada From here, it's gonna be about an hour and a half over to Montreal. I don't expect it to be a too difficult flight. I mean, as you can see, it's another gorgeous day out. All right guys, so the airplane is all ready. It's all checked out, we're good to go. We're just waiting. We'll head over to Canada about an hour here. Um, going to Canada is actually a little bit interesting. You gotta do a couple things online. And then once you get there, you actually can't open the door. 
or get out of the airplane until you call up this certain phone number and you wait for permission and stuff like that so we'll get over there we'll do that and uh, i'll see you guys in canada all right so we made it into uh canada here it's gonna be a quick turn we'll be out of here in a few minutes just getting fueled up and then it's down to uh, burlington vermont it was actually really nice because we only spent like i don't know 10 minutes on the phone trying to get done with the uh custom stuff uh, yesterday when we tried to cancel this trip it took us like 30 minutes to get in contact with anybody it was insane Just got into Burlington, Vermont. We're gonna go clear customs and then head over to uh, Saranac. So we cleared customs and we moved this airplane literally a hundred feet over to the FBO and I took off the parking brake and it chopped my finger open. So now I'm sad. Adirondack Airport over at Saranac Lake. It's extremely quiet here. I don't want to speak too loud, but it's it's insane. It's just like in the middle of all of these hills and forests and stuff. So it's really cool. But we'll be here for about 40 minutes. So we're heading down to uh, East Hampton after that. It was also really cool. We were over in uh, Burlington, Vermont, and we taxied by. I couldn't get a video of it, but they had all the F-35s uh, lined up outside. That was really awesome to see. It's another flight down. We're here in uh, East Hampton now. This is a uh, it's actually a private airport now. They just privatized it recently. So about halfway done with the day. Got four more flights and then we get to go home. They gave me this ray gun looking vacuum to clean up the plane.
Welcome to uh, Camden County Airport. This airport is very interesting to say the least. I was here last week, so I had some experience, but it's very difficult to spot because it's surrounded completely by these tall trees and the approach is wacky. You've got these trees right on the end of two, three that you come in pretty steep over. That's where the runway starts, basically. It's only a 3,000 foot strip, so there's plenty of space to land, but the approach is a little weird. And this place is also like a trailer park. You can't see it, but down there, it's literally just like trailers and stuff where people live. Thank goodness we didn't need anything either because the FBO is closed and nobody's here. <laughs> that was an interesting flight to say the least. Right out of uh, 19 November, we had a uh, an Ahars failure on my side. So that was fun. And we're currently <laughs> racing a little bit of weather as you can see. So I'll let you guys know. Alright guys, it's been a long day. We started at 5 a.m. We're ending, I think it's around 6.30 right now. Interesting day, you know, uh, dodging a lot of weather. Had the Ahars failure, which really wasn't that big a deal. We got the, the warning for it. I noticed my um, attitude indicator was a little wonky, so we fixed that really quick. And um, that's it for today. We've got the airplane all put away. I mean, white planes can take about an hour and a half to get home, hopefully. I'm sure there'll be a bunch of traffic, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. Share the video. Um, try to get out to as many people as we can. All right, see you guys.